Hey guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing of The Deadly Woods, The Battle of the Bulge. It's by Ted Reeser and he invented a brilliant system. It's called the Dark System. So I've got a couple of them games that he did. I'll have a look at them quickly. So these are the two games from the Dark System. The Dark Valley, the East Front Campaign. 1941 to 1945 and then after that the Dark Sands the war in North Africa 1940 to 1942 so the Deadly Woods uses the same system as these two games it's a brilliant system the Dark Valley is a massive game it's a uh, and the Dark Sands, not quite as big, but still still a lot to it. However, the Deadly Woods, it's a more accessible game. It's not quite as big as these two. So the Deadly Wood uses the same system. And it's by Revolution Games. And they sent me this uh, copy of the game to review. It's my very first uh, review copy. And actually came on my birthday, so that's pretty good, isn't it? So that's the outside of the box. As you can see, the Deadly Woods. It's all got woods, trees on the on the cover. Looks really menacing. And there's like a fog. That can like symbolise the fog of war. Because this is a chip pull mechanism game. That's perfect for solo player. That's the back of the box. It shows the map. Some of the counters there. And briefly about the history of the Battle of the Bulge. It says the turns uh, between two to four deers. It's a 22 by 34 inch map. So it's pretty good. And the playing times between 6 to 12 hours. There's two scenarios in this game. So the first scenario will be 6 hours and the full scenario will be 12 hours. So, I'm quite a fan of Revolution games. I've got many of them. I'll just quickly show you them. As you can see I've got loads of them. And the reason why I like them so much from Revolution games is because of the chip pull mechanism. You put all the chits in a pool and you pick them out and it tells you which armies you can activate. So it's perfect for solo players because when you get war games where it's just like you move, I move and you make the best move possible. You, you can spend a lot of, lot of the time just um, sort of like mind numbed, not sure, not sure where who to move and everything so it like slows it down but with the chip pull mechanism it speeds it up and you don't have to kind of think as much because it tells you which units you activate first anyway back to the deadly woods so this game's called the deadly woods i think it would have originally been called the dark woods but because this isn't a jmt game it's a revolution game, but it uses the dark system. I don't think they could call it the Dark Woods, so they've changed the title to the Deadly Woods because it's a revolution game. So let's have a look at it inside, see what it looks like. I've took the lid off. First thing you say is the rule books. It's in black and white, but um, it'll be dead easy to learn because. Anyone who's played the dark system will get it straight away. And anyone who's used to chip pull games will uh, get it straight away as well. It's not a difficult game to learn. And see how many pages of rules there is. That's designer notes there. There's only 20 pages, 18 if you take away the contents. So about 18 pages of rules to learn. They're nicely spaced out and clean. So it should be dead easy. 
and at the back you get a, a chip pull availability page that tells you which chips you put into the pole each turn so you get a cup and when a different turn you put these chits in so that's clever that tells you exactly what you put in so you don't make any mistakes next we get the counters these look really impressive it's one and a half I'll focus on them it's the German ones they're, they're all like your standard um, standard counters that you get in most games these will be the chits for the chip pull mechanism so you put all them in for the Germans and you put the other ones in for the the allies there there's quite a few as well so that, that's good I like it when there's lots of variety lots of different chits so that looks really good that's interesting bridge destroyed so you must destroy bridges after this unboxing I'll play the game I'll probably do the small scenario and do a, a rave here with the game after this is just an unboxing I'll get to the maps later this is a action chit summary chart that tells you exactly exactly what the chits do so that's really exciting I, I like uh, like it when you pull um, kind of like action chits so uh, there's lots of different varieties really good it's on the back oh this is a compact result chart so you'll roll the dice and then you'll um, work out on this chart how many it's like one to one two to one three to one pretty standard so you roll the dice you work out how many armies are bigger than another and this tells you uh, the result of the dice there's some that have to, the defender has to re retreat to hexes etc or defender eliminated so that's cool this is a terrain chart because of movement with this game there'll probably be lots of woods because it's called the deadly woods so uh, probably terrain has a lot to do with this game what else is there this will be a second identical one I think yeah so you get two of them then what's this this is like um, a period so uh, that's just like a quick reference so it tells you what, what's on the armies setup number attack defense strength movement allowance so pretty straightforward excellent and then this lovely map this is really interesting you get a setup map that's uh, well it's telling you how you set the the armies up when they come into play so it's got like numbers and where you'll put the the army just for an easy reference so uh, that'll be useful glad they did that and this is the map it's quite a big map as well it's 22 by 34 and there's two scenarios a six hour scenario and a 12 hour scenario so there's uh, the left side of the map allied assets and eliminated units that's the turn track 
and what you'll do is you'll put your reinforcements on the side depending on which scenario I think uh, this will be tells you what um, what number they come in so you can refer to the setup map to find out there's the terrain key units eliminated etc victory point uh, chart Germans must win when they get get to five so this is the map as you could tell from the title there's loads of woods there's also rivers which will make an impact on the game it's quite big isn't it it's a um, nice thick paper as well smooth so these are uh, they're, they're really good um, how they've coloured the the victory point hexes that you'll have to control really impressive I, I like it should be a brilliant game this I'll just check to see if the counters pop out easy yeah no problem see that came out no bother so that's your counters nice close up what's it look like on the map yep it's perfect size so this is going to be really good you might need to clip them I don't know I, I don't clip my counters so really looking forward to it I love chip pull mechanism games Marco on his channel he's, he's always says that the chip pull mechanisms are brilliant for solo play and he's correct he, he, he's right about that I never used to be into uh, war games at first because I thought well there's been a solo player they wouldn't work but they do I, I was watching the players here that's another brilliant uh, board game channel and they mentioned about the chip pull mechanism and it, it, it's really good it's uh, revolution games They've got loads of games that they uh, use a chip pull mechanism. So brilliant. I'm really looking forward to playing this game. It's based on the Battle of the Bulge. A lot of games have done that. But not with this, the dark system. So it's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. As I say, this game was given to us so really really good for revolution games doing that and I'll do a review with this game after I've played the first scenario okay everyone thanks for watching subscribe if you want to see more bye bye